You may have heard the term data integration being thrown around. And if you're wondering what exactly it is, then in this video, let me try to explain it to you. In simple terms, combining data from different sources into a single unified place is called data integration. What does it actually mean? In today's world, an organization may store data in multiple ways. There may be one system storing data in Oracle database, then, and there might be another team of sales guys using Salesforce CRM to manage the clients, and there might be one department that is only using Excel sheets to manage their data. If this is the situation of an organization, then if there is a need to integrate data from all the departments, it's a troublesome task because each of them are using different softwares and their structures may be different. Now, in this case, you bring in the data integration process to combine the data from Oracle database Salesforce application to one unified MySQL database. Usually, an ETL tool is used to perform the process of data integration. If you're wondering what is ETL, I have another video. I'll link it in the cards and also in the description below. You can check that out. Source to target mapping. In any data integration project, the backbone is source to target mapping document. To create this document, one should understand the different sources functionally and technically and should design the target columns and tables as per the business needs. It has to capture the data cleansing and transformation requirements clearly. The usual structure of the document is shown in this example. You should add any relevant columns required in the document that might help developers. You can also decide whether to split the document based on the sources or based on the targets. Make the decisions based on how you want to break down the development process and help maximize the productivity of developers. So who are the important people involved in a data integration project? One, business analyst. The guy who understands the business, understands the source system, understands the requirements of the target system, and is able to talk both in business terms and in technical terms. Secondly, we need a data mapper or modeler. This is the guy who closely interacts with the BA or business analyst, creates a source to target mapping document. He understands database technologies and design, clearly defines the transformation logic that can be understood by the developers. The next important position in the project would be developers. These are the guys who uses the mapping document and writes the code to integrate the data. Apart from the above mentioned people, you also need to have anyone who could help the project run smoothly and help to keep the quality high. Typically, there are DevOps, database admins, ETL admins, testers, project managers, and you should also consider involving business stakeholders whenever necessary. And my conclusion is that data integration can solve enormous data problems for your organization. Once the data is unified, it can be used to find insights through business intelligence reports or data mining, and that could help your business grow leaps and bounds. If this video has helped you in some way, then do let me know with a like or a comment. I hope to see you in my next video. Stay safe and bye.